Because you want to reinvent your way into the new future. In other words, go to where the, the puck is going to be, not where it was. And this next speaker is really going to do an amazing job at helping you with that. You know, I, I will say that Hani Isigari is one of those people who I think will stretch your thinking. She has an amazing story as to why she's here. She is new to our channel. She understands technologies. She understands advancements in technologies and nutrition, and she's bringing it together. She under, she's got an origin story because she really embraces the heart of our profession and the difference it can make for women. And she is also the CEO. She's also the founder of Kiro. And I want you to really understand, and I want you to listen with an open mind as to what you can learn from her in terms of creating a brave new future, in terms of being brave and courageous with your experimentation and make it part of what it is that you do. So let's give a warm round of applause and let's bring up on stage Anel Tigari. DSU. I just wanted to say thank you to Stuart for putting this on. I'm learning so much from all of you. I'm the newbie. I'm new to this channel. I knew nothing about it. In fact, when I was ready to launch Chiral, uh, someone uh, asked me, so how do you want to do it? And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to build this business and it's going to have this compensation plan and it's going to, you know, the future is about nano-influencers and people buy from people that they trust and so on and so forth. And I created this elaborate plan in my head and they're like, that already exists. It's called MLM, direct sales. And I was like, no, 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 that's a pyramid. I don't want to know. And unfortunately, that was the perception I had, but I learned, I learned so much from all of you. I learned about the beauty of this channel, the impact that it can have. So I am here today as the newbie to share with you my experience and the insight I bring as a newcomer to the channel. I want to talk to you all about experimentation and innovation. That's me, Nemo, over there. Well, I'm not here to tell you a Disney story. This is exactly how I feel right now. The small fish amongst all of you, big fish. I'm the newbie who wants to inspire the world. But why would you listen to me? In fact, you shouldn't. But I'll continue to talk anyway. Because I'm driven and I'm passionate, just like my mom was. And what's so special about her? That's me, amongst you guys, by the way. <laughs> That's my mom. And what's so special about her? Well, my mom, Mama June, as I call her, she's Iranian, and back in 1979, Iran had a revolution. And while many were executed and arrested, my mom was put in prison. She got lucky, though. Her execution was extended, but maybe it wasn't luck. During that time, a classmate of hers who was part of the new regime saw my mom's name on the execution list and arranged to get her out of prison under the condition of her running a woman's shelter, mainly prostitutes and widows of the old regime. The war started shortly after and the shelter grew to 300 plus women. And you guys are in direct sales, so you know, put 300 women under the same roof and give them nothing to do and it's just chaos. So she needed to do something to occupy their time. She started experimenting, experimenting with offering them a skill, the skill of sewing. As everyone was learning and growing, my mom negotiated with the State Department to get sewing machines. They had a deal if she was willing to sew military uniforms for the military, and so she did. She agreed. This experiment continued to grow. Women started getting paid. Some left the shelter, many got better jobs, and many, many, many lived a long and happy life. 
My mother, Mama June, was a hero to me and still is. She's my inspiration. Because what she did for a few hundred women is what I want to do for thousands, if not millions. She set me up on the path of experimenting and has inspired me to this day. Her passion, her dedication is what drives me to stand here in front of all of you big fish and share how Chiral, our company, using personalized longevity and wellness products, can touch thousands, if not millions, of people's lives. And why are you here at DSU? To sell more, to learn more, to grow more, to succeed in whatever matters to you, correct? We're here to learn from each other. As the quote says, if we don't change, we don't grow. If we don't grow, we aren't really living. And living is what I want all of you to do for a very, very long time, which is why I found Chiral in 2019. Chiral is our company. And change comes with that. Change is the only constant in life. But are you ready to change? I have a feeling that leadership is not ready to change, but maybe I'm wrong, and that's my newcomer's excitement. That's what makes me so enthusiastic. I'm not sure. What I do know is that constant change for us has created impactful innovations in longevity and healthcare. And constant change has only been possible through consistent experimentation. That's exactly what I want to talk to you guys today. So you can decide what change you can create to grow your company and take it to the next level. So you can create bigger, more impactful change in the world. So let's talk about Chiral. In a nutshell, Chiral is a cutting edge, personalized longevity and wellness telehealth company on a mission to empower individuals to live longer, healthier lives. We believe that healthcare should start with the individual, which is why we personalize all of our products, including prescription, that's right, I said prescription, and non-prescription skincare, weight loss, and longevity products to meet each person's unique needs. We believe that we have to start with the individual. And we're only getting started. In fact, we're launching our prescription grade hair care line very soon. So if there are any candidates out there, and I see a gentleman right there, I can use our product. Just kidding, that's my husband, business partner. I can tease him a little bit. We incorporate a doctor's expertise and oversight to prescribe the medication and also hold the patient's hand through their journey. Patients have 24-7 online, unlimited access to their doctors. And by doing this, what we're doing is making healthcare more accessible, we're making it more affordable, and we're also making it personalized. We're bringing dermatologists to regions in America that are not accessible. We take pride in being at the cutting edge forefront of healthcare and telemedicine. No other company personalizes their prescription and non-prescription products quite like we do. It takes so much pride in that. So does it sound complicated? Heck yeah, it's very complicated behind the scenes, but that's not the customer's experience. The customer's user experience is very simple. We've made the process super easy. Customers take an online assessment, then their information is passed to a doctor, clinician to either formulate their products or prescribe their medication. From there, we send the medication to our lab to personalize and formulate at a compounding pharmacy, and the medication is sent straight to the patient's door. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's time to say that. So that's what Chiral does. But let's get back to why you guys are here. To grow, to learn, to expand your business in different ways. And we're not just here for really fun after parties, because I saw some of you guys last night, so I went back and watched you. <laughs> but before I go there, I want to share with you my personal story. I want to talk about longevity. Have you ever lost friends or family members 
Usually the older we get, the more losses we experience. But for me, this experience was the exact opposite. You now know I'm an immigrant, and when we came to America, my dad moved us to a 55 plus community without even knowing it. But it was fine because my only options were friends for the seniors and the elderly in the community. I loved it. All these grannies and grandpas that adopted me and took me under their wings. They taught me English and they taught me about the arts and the American way of life. But fast forward a couple of years later, I started losing my friends one by one, which was so devastating for a little girl of 10, 11, 12 to experience. That's when I made it my mission to never lose a single friend ever again, and I devoted my life to exploring and understanding longevity. I devoted my education to understanding the body-mind connection, studying biology and psychology undergrad, and I went on to grad school to study biochemistry and longevity. I started a home health care company after that. I went on to become an Alzheimer's and dementia trainer. We tried to maintain baseline and dementia patients in their homes and all sorts of different things. But all this wasn't enough if I wanted to save all my friends. I had to figure out how to do it bigger, bolder, with greater impact. That's why I started Chiral. That's the passion. We at Chiral are all about longevity. We believe the future of healthcare is precision medicine and preventative care, that doctors will be involved in all aspects of care and not just treatment. That's why we work diligently in creating our proprietary AI technology and we formulate and personalize our line of products, adjusting ingredients, pH, concentrations, dosages, units, in a seamless manner. Compounding pharmacies in our lab in Los Angeles bring this personalized experience to life. Chiral has been an early adopter in this new emerging field of prescription peptide medications such as semi-glutide and tirzeptide. If you don't know what that is, go look up Elon Musk before and after weight loss photos and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. As you know, managing one's weight is the first step as part of a holistic approach in health and wellness and longevity. That's what I'm passionate about. Get their weight down and you've improved all sorts of biomarkers and vitals. Our goal is to add to both the quality and quantity of people's lives through our products, services, trainings, education. We believe that what we're creating will impact millions of lives. I found Cairo with my heart and soul driven by a personal experience and genuine desire to help others live longer, richer lives. I've walked the difficult path of weight loss and I've lost and felt the pain of losing my friends to aging and age-related diseases. I know the value of years added to life and the quality of life added to years. You see, Chiral isn't just a business. Our mission transcends our products. But none of this is possible without constant change through experimentation. Experimenting is needed to grow, to grow in your life, your products, your services, your business. So let me ask you, how are you experimenting? So what's an experiment anyways? Well, according to the dictionary, an experiment is a scientific procedure undertaken to make a discovery, test a hypothesis, and demonstrate a known fact. Well, in layman's terms, all it is, is we have a hunch, but we don't know the outcome, so we try a bunch of different things without knowing the results. That's an experiment, very simple. So when was the last time you experimented? Last week, I put a dish of spinach in front of my two-year-old and as an experiment, and the result was a green, sticky floor. And that's okay, we're gonna keep experimenting and we're gonna try new recipes. And in our daily lives and in our daily work, we experiment too. Experiments are the means to try new things to achieve an outcome. They are the vehicle of innovation 
and a means by which humans understand cause, effect, and correlation. Experimentation is the foundation of every idea that leads to a new business. From Edison's light bulb to Tesla's mass production of electric vehicles, innovation can only be achieved through experimentation. Can it be scary? Yes. Do we fear failure? Absolutely. But if we never experiment, we'll never know. None of what we've done here at Cairo would have been possible without experimenting. And it's not just us. But for a lot of other companies, experimentation is something they do all the time. Get this, Microsoft grew from a few experiments a month to 300 a week, 300 a week. Airbnb has passed 500 experiments per month. Amazon runs 2,000 experiments a year. For each of these companies, experimentation isn't just an ingrained cultural practice. It's a core competitive differentiator. I love what Amazon's Jeff Bezos says. He says, our success at Amazon is a function of how many experiments we do per year, per month, per week, per day. The company runs close to 2,000 experiments per year, and this comes in handy because most of them fail. Most experiments fail. And they run it, they launch it, unapologetically shut it down, but they do this all the time. As Bezos explains, and I'm gonna quote him, given a 10% chance of a 100 time payoff, you should take that bet every single time, but you're still gonna be wrong nine times out of 10. We all know if you swing for the fences, you're gonna strike out a lot, but you're also gonna hit some really awesome home runs. End quote. It's not a secret, failing is good. Failure is feedback. Failure is our greatest teacher. If you don't fail, you don't learn, and hence, you don't improve. After all, experimentation is nothing but validated learning. I can vouch for that as a scientist. I was here last year, and I watched our dear friend Blake from Prove It talk about their Amazon strategy. Funny enough, as a newcomer, when I first came into the industry and proposed this idea, I was quickly shut down. Amazon, which is the number one search engine for products or just seemed like an obvious top of funnel strategy to showcase their products. But I was told if we go on Amazon, it would signal to our field reps that we're not working in their best interest, that we're not devoted to them earning every dollar. Many seasoned leaders in our industry told me that. So what did we do? We didn't launch on Amazon. But our friends at Prove It experimented and they proved it worked. And I heard our friend Roger yesterday from Pawtree did the same thing, and it worked, so we need to experiment. At Chiral, we began our journey as an experimentation machine, testing our hypothesis through many ways, including weightless. So I'm gonna give you an example of how we experimented. When we first wanted to launch the personalized skincare line, we got close to 10,000 signups on our wait list. This demonstrated that there was a need in the market for personalization. Of course, not all these 10,000 turned to customers. I wish they did. But we decided to run the experiment again. This time we got smart. We said, we're going to charge for people getting on this wait list. So we charged $100 when we were ready to launch our weight management program. We're like, there's no way in heck anyone is going to want to inject themselves. Like, pull, take a syringe out, pull medication out of a vial, and inject themselves. No way. Well, sure enough, within just a few days, I'm talking about two days, we have 500 people that gave us $100 and said, sign me up for this. So boy, were we wrong. But if we didn't experiment and run this experiment, we would have never known. As Bezos says, I'm going to quote him again, if you know the answers, then it's not an experiment. 
Launching the prescription injectables was an experiment, and we've continued to build our culture on experimenting and designed our software, our back end, our supply chain to keep up. Our field can be forgiving because they know we're here to try new things. That's how we can be innovative. That's how we can stay ahead. We're no longer competing with just direct selling companies. We're competing with the gig economy. We're competing with everyone else out there. So we have to be innovative. Why do I do this? Because I'm Nemo, the small fish, just like a kid, not afraid to try, not afraid to fall and test the waters. Just like my son, who falls all the time and gets right back up, his fearlessness inspires me. He reminds me that it's okay to fall. You need to fall in order to learn, to walk, to run, then sprint. That's the beginner's boldness I bring you with the curiosity mindset. I'm not, I'm not afraid to fall. I hope you're not afraid to fall. I hope you're not afraid to experiment. I hope you can embrace Nemo. So today I talked about change, I talked about longevity, experimentation, and I talked about Cairo. Experimentation can be extremely simple. When was the last time you went to a restaurant ordering a dish you've never had and it turned out that you absolutely loved it? I dare you to experiment. I dare you to go out there today and try a new dish. It's literally that simple. It's something you can incorporate into your lives on a daily basis. In other words, go out there, be bold, be fearless, experiment. Remember your fearless experiments and be remembered for it. Make an impact, not by sitting back, but by taking action. I'm only Nemo, but I want to be a big fish like all of you. A lot of you here are big fish, swimming in a big pond, but I encourage you to think like Nemo time to time. I know a lot of you in the audience today are CTOs, CMOs, CLOs, CIOs, directors of your division, managers, but I encourage all of you to start being CEOs. And I'm not just talking about a chief executive officer. I encourage you to become chief experimentation officers of your division and your work. So let me leave you with this last final question. When or what will be your next experiment? Thank you all so much for having me here. Appreciate you. Appreciate you all. We created the sound.